Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stunningly combine DV's column and module backgrounds with blend modes. This is the final design that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we created this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm going to call my page blends. But of course, you can call this page whatever you want, right? I'm going to go ahead and click on use the div builder and then we're going to go straight into our visual builder. So what we need to do here is to add our column structure. So I'm going to start by coming over here and clicking this icon and then I'm going to add three equal columns. Next, we are going to add a gradient to our column. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings. Click on background. So the first thing you want to do here is to come over here to our column one background. So let's add our first color in our gradient. So I'm going to click this tab here for our gradient. Click this plus button and I am going to add my first color. Now my first color here is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm just going to highlight what's in here between the brackets and add my values. Next, I'm going to come here to my second color, click on it and I am going to paste an RGBA value as well but this time it's going to be all zeros. Paste it like that. So that's full transparency, by the way. So making sure that our column one gradient type is set to linear, we are going to come over here to the gradient direction and set it to 205. Okay, so our column one start position needs to be set at 29. So I'm gonna use the slider again and drag this all the way to 29. And my end position needs to be set at 11%. So I'm going to drag it all the way down here to 11%. So these settings were for column one background. Now let's go over to column two background. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to come over here, click my gradient tab, and we're going to add our first color. Now this is going to be an RGBA as before. So I'm going to paste my values here like that. Move on to the second color. And this is going to be full transparency. So I'm going to drag both sliders all the way down like that. Just like the first one, our, our gradient here needs to be set at linear. And then our gradient direction needs to be set at 180, which is by default, which is fine. And then our start position here needs to be set to 45 degrees like that. And our end position needs to be set at 42%. Now we need to do the same on column three, column three gradient. So I'm going to come over here, click my gradient tab, click this plus button here, add my first color. As before, it's an RGBA. I'm going to paste my values between the brackets like this. Select my second color. Now over here, it needs to be full transparency. So I'm going to drag all this, the slider all the way down to the bottom like that. Now let's go ahead and add our gradient direction. And this needs to be set at 156. So I'm just going to slide this back a little bit until I get to about 156, like that. Our start position needs to be set at 29%. So I'm going to drag this to about 29%, like that. And then our end position needs to be set at 11%. Perfect. So you can see here on the right that uh, our shapes are beginning to take shape, which is great. Okay, so now we're done with all this. Next thing we need to do here is to come over here to design click on sizing. Now what we need to do here is to make this full width. So I'm going to select yes. Next we need to adjust our padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. So for our custom padding top, we're going to set this to 27, 50 to the right, 35 to the bottom and 50 to the left. Okay. So now that we've done the custom padding, it's time to add the borders. So I'm just going to come down here to the border, click on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the border to the left and right to begin with. So I'm going to come over here and select my first border to the right. And this is going to be four pixels. And then over here on the border color, I'm just going to paste my hexadecimal value in here. Now, if you want to use the same colors that we're using throughout this, you can go to our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and use the exact same uh, values. And then finally over here on the border style, we're going to come over here and add double like that. Now it's time to do the left uh, border. So I'm going to click on it like that. Add my four pixels. Make sure this is set to double. And then I'm going to paste my color in here as well like that. 
So now we can see here the double lines are here on the left and the double lines are also here on the right. Now we're going to do the top and bottom. So let's start with the top. So I'm gonna click here on the top, make sure I have my four pixels, paste my color, and make sure that this is set to double. And then finally, we're going to do the bottom. So I'm gonna select it, four pixels. I'm gonna add my color. And then finally, I'm gonna make sure that this is set to double. So let's go ahead and save. And then now we're going to add our text modules. Now with these text modules, we're just gonna build this once and then we're going to duplicate it a few times because the contents of this text module are going to be the same. Okay, so I'm gonna search for my text module like that. And then I'm gonna add my text. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste my dummy text in here. And we're gonna set this to a heading one like that. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click my plus button and paste my hexadecimal value for my color. Now it's time to do our customizations to our text. So I'm gonna come over here to my design tab, click on the drop down here for the text. And then I am going to search for my font. So I'm gonna come over here and search for Amico. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna make sure it's set to 13 pixels. I'm gonna add my text color over here, paste my hexadecimal value. And then over here for my letter spacing, I'm gonna set this to three pixels. Line height, we're gonna set this to 1.9. And then our text orientation is going to be centered. So what I'm also gonna do is to come over here to my heading text, and I'm gonna set this to Amico. And it's right here, like that. So over here on the heading text size, I'm gonna set this to 29. And I'm also gonna add a color and line height. So let's start off by adding our color. So I'm gonna come over here to my heading text color, paste my hexadecimal value in here. And then over here on my line height, I'm gonna set this to three EMs, like that. Now it's time to add our margins. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. And I'm gonna start off by adding my margin. And my margin here is going to be a minus 100. For the bottom, I'm gonna add minus 130. Right, over here on my custom padding, I'm gonna start by adding 150 to the top, 30 to the right, 150 to the bottom, and 30 to the left. So now we can see we have enough breathing space around our text, which is brilliant. Next, we're gonna come over here to the border and uh, we're just gonna add four pixels here to all the sides. So you can see now we have this rounded uh, corners and this is four pixels. Now we are going to go to our box shadow. So I'm gonna select box shadow. I'm gonna click this very first uh, second one. So the only thing I'm gonna change here is my shadow color. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna add my value within the brackets. So I'm gonna paste it like that. Next, we're gonna come over here to the filters and we're just gonna change our blend mode to color dodge. Select it. So now we can see that our shape is showing through this background, which is exactly what we need. So what I'm gonna do here, as you can see, we need to add some breathing space or some padding to this section. So what I'm gonna do for now is gonna go ahead and save, and then I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on design, spacing, and we're gonna add some padding. So I'm gonna start off by adding 200 and 200 to the bottom. So that's much better. Now we can see our design, which is fantastic. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save. So to save us time, I'm going to clone this text module three times. So I'm gonna come over here and do it three times. And then I'm just gonna drag this over to the middle. And then I'm gonna drag this over to the right, like that. So the only thing that we need to change here is the custom margins. So I'm gonna come over here to my uh, module settings, click on design, spacing, so the top is fine at minus 100, and the bottom needs to be 130. 
Okay, so that's all we need to do. Now, one thing that you also may want to make some changes to here or some adjustments to is the mobile view. So if you click here on this gear icon, on this um, icon, we get to make adjustments to the tablet. So this is where you can also add your margin. We're gonna do our final preview. Okay, so that's our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.